outdoors. It's springtime and that means maple syrup. I'm here with my buddy Jack Biker and today we're gonna do a can challenge. We're gonna try to make maple syrup only using cans. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, we're gonna cut our pop can. First we gotta make our tap. So I'm gonna cut it into a square and then I'm gonna bend it around using aluminum foil. Aluminum, so it'll bend easy. I'm gonna bend this around in the tube, stick that in the tree. So here we got our cap. I made, I simply just bend it there. Cap's gonna run out there. Joey's gonna drill it um, about an inch in, just to make sure you get deep enough. Pull it out. Pull her out. No. Nope, nope. <laughs> so you're gonna just bend it until we can just fit it inside that hole. So here we go, got our tin can set up under it, and we got our tap dripping slowly and steady. Once we got enough, we're going to collect it and we're going to boil it to make some syrup. So here we got our fire going in another tin can. We're just going to use charcoal for this, normally we would use wood and a bigger stove for cooking maple syrup. But for this little challenge, we're just going to be using a tin can, got some charcoal burning, and yeah, let's start boiling. So here we got it. Our sap is boiling down to syrup. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup, so we're probably only going to get a taste off of this can of syrup, but it's something. So here we got our finished product here. Not quite the consistency we wanted. It's a little too sticky. Still tastes really great on pancakes. Probably should have took it off a little sooner. But thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, remember to get, get up and go outdoors. outdoors.